to start. Welcome to, to the Prestons. Breakfast with us. We're gonna we're gonna talk about how we met today. How did we first meet? It's gonna be interesting to see how our stories um, match up. Or, or not, that's all. Right. You, you, can, you can go first, because I'd like to hear what you got. Okay? Because I know there's going to be some discrepancies in your Okay, story. so, I know I'm going to be jumping all over, because there's a lot that happened. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I'd like to hear your version. Initially, I moved to Michigan from Arizona with my boy. With who? With my boy. What boy? My son. My, my son. Oh. With my son, Antoine. I am single parent. My other two came along. It's a really, it's a really long uh, story. Uh, like, uh, we'll yeah. have to go back to all that later. Yeah, I was going to say, how you other things come along if you right. were a single parent? Right. Oh, okay. I was a single parent, yeah, and then I wasn't oh, okay. with the same baby daddy. It's all long story, but we will get to that in another episode. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, while being a mother of three young boys, I was trying to figure it out like I need to get them into sports I need to get them to do something because my oldest was um what do I want to say what was he at the time I don't know I didn't meet him yet oh yeah um I I can't, I can't he was a troubled child on his own on his own turf like I he had a very good life and he just decided to be a troubled child so anyways I found a program. I started working out at the YMCA and I found a basketball program. And mind you, his dad used to play basketball. So he was kind of into it since he was a baby. So found a basketball program through the YMCA and this guy, Duke, ended up being his coach. So I would take him to his practices and Sometimes I would sit with him through his practices because I was new in town, really didn't know too many people, so I really didn't have much to do. And I didn't know this guy that was going to have my kids, so I kind of wanted to be there. Um, that's, that's what you call it? Yeah, that's what um, I got. Yeah, okay. I wanted to be there. Yeah, yeah, okay. To make sure. This is the first time he I'm hearing something. He was in good this. hands. So. Yeah, okay. Um. Did Trin and Jalen used to come to the practices with me? I hadn't saw him. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I was just picking them. I don't think I was really coming to Twins. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Not much. Maybe once or twice. Actually went in to see. I know the very first practice I went in to watch. Anyways, after that, I was just picking them up. And then, one of his friends, which happened to be one of my best friend's husband came to me and said, hey, I know this guy that's interested in you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you, Who? You skipped some spots, but go ahead. What? Go ahead. This is your story. I'm not going to tell your story for you. You tell it. So, I said, no. Doesn't he live with someone? Yeah, but they're not together. Oh. If you, okay, I'm going to let you tell your story. If I what? If when you asked her if I live with someone? I asked him, doesn't he live with someone? Yeah, but they're not together. Mm, okay. I'm listening. And I was like, okay, well no. I don't do that. I have a lot of time. So years go by and my two youngest boys start playing basketball and end up with this dude. Again. Again he comes back. And I find out, or he makes sure that I find out mm. that he is living by himself. 
I think in a hotel at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, great, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't know about this. So, um, I don't even know how it. I I don't even know. I'm letting you tell your story. Well, I just remember that I was like, ended up saying, mm, maybe I'll give this guy a shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go out of town. He was supposed to meet me. I ain't never met me. Mm -hmm. Megan will vouch for this. I was supposed to meet you where? In Florida. Mm. After the Lakers game. I was in Los Angeles. Yeah, you were. And you were supposed to fly from there to come see me in Florida. And you just bypassed Florida and came back to Michigan and said, <laughs> fuck her. I guess that's what happened. So mm. I was like, okay. I don't know about this. So then I went to Arizona. And <laughs> no, it was Florida. Wait, I'm trying, I'm trying to think how the story went. Anyways, whatever vacation it was, I got back. And he was like, come see me. Let's go to lunch at work. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's your story. <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> Y'all, this has been how many years? Uh, it depends <laughs> on what you say. This is your story. You tell it. 12 years. That's what We've been is? together. 12? Yeah. I couldn't wait to get past the fucking 11 yet last year. It's 12. So it's been 12. Okay. I'm, I'm with you there. So, um, anyways, first date. So I go to his work. That wasn't the, okay. It wasn't the first. That's your story. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. The first, first date. The first that one was, was the at the down. No. What? The first one was downtown. Well, that you had no money for that one right. either. <laughs> My car, <laughs> my car didn't work. I don't know why yeah. it didn't work. I had okay, money. well, I don't know if that was the first one. So I don't think I would have drove all the way to see if you didn't have money that time to come see you again in your town. All the way out there and be stuck. No, I don't think so. So <laughs> I learned from that one. So I went all the way to where he was in Paw Paw, Michigan, like 45 minutes away, I feel like. And um, we went to this restaurant. During, before we get to this restaurant, mind you, we just start talking. We're not even really boyfriend, girlfriend yet. I look at his fingers and they're like eaten down to the white meat, like chewed. And he was like, I was like, and he might have saw that I saw him or something because he was like, yeah, I've missed you this much. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, like you bit your fingers all the way down to the white meat. He was like, I know, I was just thinking, I didn't know what you were doing out there, blah, blah. I'm like, wow, wow, this really, this guy really likes me. <laughs> Y'all, it's 12 years later and his fingers are still like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so we get to the restaurant. Yep, get to the restaurant. Order our food, nice conversation. Get the bill. Shit. He forgets his fucking wallet. Forgot my wallet. I'm like, are you fucking kidding What's me? What's wrong with that? Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe it was I just drove 45 fucking minutes to see him. Maybe I was touching. Yeah, not for me, no fucking gas money. Oh. Yeah. Nor <laughs> did he. <laughs> I I didn't have. I so that should have been the end of it. I thought. Well. Um, this is the first I'm hearing this. I'm just, I'm listening. <laughs> so then, um, after that, okay, so, um, what's your story? Oh, that's the end of yours. Huh? That's the real end. I'll chime in on yours. Well, the real story is this. <laughs> this is the, the truth story. Oh my God. Please, please, please. Yes, I was coaching and I had this kid 
pretty athletic kid. I said, this kid got a chance to do something here. And then one day, this little lady came in there. And she said, I just want to let you know that um, this will be the last time my son's at your practice. And I'm thinking, what did I do? What's, what the problem is? And she says, well, he's going back to Arizona with his dad. Well, I'm thinking, geez, so she's a single parent. This is my mind now. And uh, I said, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't send him back to Arizona. Why would you send him to Arizona? I said, let him live with me for a little while. I don't know this lady, first time I ever talked to her. I only know the kid, probably a couple weeks. So I'm, I know she's thinking, why would I let, I don't know you. But this is what I said. There, and the reason I said it is because I've had kids before that stayed with me that weren't mine, that I was coaching, they had issues or whatever. So she said, no, nah, it's not gonna work. I didn't see the kid anymore. <laughs> I, knew the, I knew the name, she's a nice looking lady. Cute little lady. She came in there to wear a little uh, scrub outfit because you were working at the hospital, I assume. Oh, okay. So if you was at other practices watching, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't. I didn't know that. So. Oh. So uh, anyway, so that happened. He he goes. I said, man, well, that's that. So I asked a friend of mine. I said, man, you know this little girl. Her name is little Lonnie. girl. <laughs> She's little. And uh, he says. Lonnie, yeah, she, he said she got, she's a little short girl with some fake boobs. I said, I don't know if the boobs are fake, buddy, but I know she's a little girl and some big boobs. So <laughs> some years go by. I'm still coaching the friend she's talking about. I'm still coaching her friend's son because they're the same age. She comes to a game with them, with the friend, to watch the her friend's son play. Cause you watch the friend's son me. play. You invited this. Me. This is my story. Oh, yeah. You told George. So after the game, we say, "What's up? What's up? How you doing?" Do -do -do. I think this is when I realized. No, this is my story. You told George. This is when I realized. <laughs> oh, I know her friend. And her husband, because I went to college and played ball with her friend's husband. I said, hey, man, let me holler at you for a minute. I talked to her. He said, asked him about this young lady. He said she was in a relationship. Truth be told, I was too, so really it wasn't the right time to be doing that. I said, I'm interested in that little lady. She said, no, nah, ain't, ain't the right time. You in yours, I'm in mine. So... Uh, time time goes on. I thought you weren't in a relationship. At this time? Yeah. I know when we first started talking, when I first approached, we both were. So, uh, some time went on, and somehow, oh, I know how I found out where you lived. Because one of your other good friends lived down the street from you. And I had went over there. Do you mm -hmm. remember that? Mm -hmm. So I went over there. And as I'm leaving, I see you standing outside. I pull up. And I was talking to you. Do you remember this? Uh. And you was like, I, I can't talk to you right now. <laughs> because he might be in the window. There's a window right there. And he might be in the window looking. I just cycle away from And I was like, I don't give up. <clears throat> you know the rest. But I, I respected it and left. I said, okay, now I know where she lived. Okay. So it's a lot of dots that's being connected. I'm, I know a couple of her friends very well, and she don't, we didn't never connect it though. Ain't that crazy? So I knew some people, yeah. you knew some people. So anyway, uh, somehow we exchanged phone numbers. It may be because I, I had the number because I was the coach. I am. Um. So anyway, uh, one night, I'm, I'm single now. I'm single. I'm not living in the hotel no more. I'm not in the hotel no more. I'm back at the house. So I'm at home. I don't do nothing. It's a Friday night or a Saturday night. I don't do much. I get a call. Why is she calling me at this time of night? She called. 
We're drunk. <laughs> this was in January. This was in February. January. No, this is January. Because it was Megan's birthday. Go uh -huh. ahead, went out for Megan's birthday and okay. was drunk. Right? Okay. So y'all drunk. Can you pick us up from the club? I've never been to this club. I don't know where it's at. Heard you were at the strip club that night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were. I was. But I wasn't that this time. I bet I must have been back home. I don't know, but you were at the strip club that night. I told you that. But anyway, no, so I said, I said, yeah, I'll come and pick you up. So I come and pick some up. And again, her friend lives right down the street from her. And they're together. So on the way home, we're close to the house. She wants McDonald's. Oh, it's three, four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. She wants McDonald's. So we drop the friend off. And I'm thinking, in my mind, she really wants McDonald's. Okay, she's trying to extend this situation. No, I really want it. Every time me and my friend leave the club, I always That's, wanted a steak bagel with extra sauce. It's her I'm story. Drunk. It's her story. So, it's okay. I'm thinking this because if they both wanted McDonald's, the friend would have stayed in the car. And versus the friend saying, well, bring me back this. I said, okay, I'm going to do this. Because the friend's man was at the house. so She wasn't, wasn't, she wasn't with him yet. They were it was roommates. The same situation we no, were in. no, they were. Talking. They knew each other for years. They were roommates because I remember in the car she was saying, "I don't know if I want to date them. We're yeah. friends." And I said, "Get a man a chance." Yeah. You remember that? I said, "Give him a chance. You never know." They're still together right now, as far as I know. Anyway, not married but still together. So I take her to McDonald's. I'm like, okay, this is going well. We pull up to the drive-through. We're ordering. Look to the right, and my ex is right there. <laughs> to the right. You think they're cute? With my kids. And I said. With the kids. What? In the back seat. What? Three in the morning. I said, what's up? Who is this? You know. I told her her name. Because really, at the time, we never dated. We never done anything. So I just told her what it was. Plus, you're my ex. We don't live together. You live here. Right, okay. So... Roll down the window. Who is this? I said that. Again, my kid's in the car. I'm trying to keep it cool. Roll back up the window. Got the food. Get to her friend's house to drop her off. The ex is behind me. I didn't even know it. Got a, uh, she goes to get out. The ex had an altercation. So I'm thinking, man, that's probably... It's probably, over. I said, that's it. That's it. That, that was it. I had a chance. I didn't and, talk to you for days. And that's it. So I tried to call the next day, no answer. I was like, man, I messed that one up. So she ended up calling back. She came to her better senses and realized that uh, she probably did some homework, asked a friend, hey, what's the status? This is who is the lady? All of these type of things and realized this guy is all right, guy. That's my story. So. She came to her senses. We talked. The, the Florida, California thing is real. This was January. This game was in April, at the beginning of April, because it was for my birthday. We went to, we flew to California to see the Lakers game. It was, so we and it was spring break. When were we officially no, a couple? It wasn't official until shortly after that when we got back. Okay, so, so we, February, we, March, April. We so that's are, how long it took. Wait, no, 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 no. No, that's not right. No, that's, birthday, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we, I didn't get you to know you were there. So that must mean we, you had already had that plan. You're, Cause it was for spring break for y'all and the kids. And this game was for my birthday that was already planned. So. But it was before that. Y'all went before April. You sure? Yes. Spring. I well, it not, must have been at the end of March. Well, it must have been at the end of March. Because it was spring break for the kids. That's why y'all yeah. went to Florida. So I'm in California. I'm going to Los Angeles to watch the Lakers play. I'm in Florida Me with and my, my girl. Guys. So she says, why don't you come to Florida? No, I didn't say that. You said, I will meet you in Florida. Because I wouldn't have thought of you. I wouldn't have asked you to come Why to wouldn't Florida. you ask me to come to Florida if, if I, we're dating? Because we, if, we see, weren't really dating see, at that time. We can rewind this and you just said we were. 
So if it was at the end of no, March, maybe we weren't. And it dating. was a different time. We were not dating at that time but then it was because a, but we then was at the very March. beginning of our relationship. I but remember this was in I March. remember writing your name in the sand. Y'all was in Florida, so it had to be spring break. Spring break is either March or April, all the time. Mine. Yeah, so spring break weird. is already March. Are you and sure April. it was in spring break? Because I went on vacation, whether break. it was spring break or not. The kids were so little; they weren't even in school yet. Twan wasn't with us in that one. I don't think. Because he was in Arizona. You had sent him Right, back. so it didn't matter about spring break at this point. You and Megan have went. So y'all only went for spring breaks. Um, so anyway, this is that. my story. They're in, Cali they're in Florida. And you're in Cali. Cali. She said, meet me there. And the reason you're probably thinking, How, why would you do all that flying? Well, the company I worked for, I was the CFO. We had a private jet. So we were just flying places. And that's why... He was like, I'll just meet you in Florida. And I was like, oh my God, this guy's coming to Florida to meet me? If he's coming to Florida, this is the guy. But, well, he never showed up there but, either. Why are we together right now? But here's <laughs> he never the thing. Came this is why. This is why. You should really love no, me. That was the last trip on that airplane. I couldn't go. That, well, whose airplane the, did I? Oh, I was on Schumacher. Yeah, that airplane, that was it. Because when I got back, and I had been telling you this for months. The company I was working for was having some problems in the owner. And that was the last trip for anybody on that airplane. So when I got back, I didn't have a way to go. I probably didn't tell her that because I didn't know how to tell her that. Yeah. But this like, the wild yeah. thing, I, I literally, the first time we went out, my car didn't work. I don't remember why it didn't work because I had the money. I don't know. It didn't work. Then it didn't when never work when you were with me. When you came to the... I bet I worked at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> when you came to the job and we went out to eat, I left my wallet. It happens. Left or, my wallet. Or it could have been a test. Left my wallet. Or it could have been a test to see what she would do. Or it could have been a test. <laughs> to see what she would do test. if she was all about me making sure I was paying everything. So I guess I got another test. And I tell the I, next time we went to eat, I, when his card got declined, I, how many fucking tests does a girl have to go through? I don't know. I but this sure. one, listen, stop. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And Maybe people, I need to put him in some tests. And people who are oh, have money or are wealthy or whatever money. will probably know this. I was doing pretty good at the time. This is so. Crazy. She's the one I didn't want somebody her. to be with me just for financial reason, right? So I didn't tell the kids. Correct. No. So why don't I you had tell this them? I big old van. I got a van, but big. Why don't you tell them? Van. What happened? So I tell the kids, hey, if a woman wants you in this, she legit. Don't yeah, worry you know about what the kids driving did? a Mercedes. Turned the back of the van into a hotel room. It worked now out. a bed. Worked out for them. <laughs> They found out who was real. Oh of course, God. a woman going to be more interested in a, in a 17, 18, 19 year old if they're in a Mercedes. But if they're in a 1999 van and the woman's still interested, she's genuinely interested. That's my thought. And with you, you know, you remember my, one of my favorite movies, Coming to America. Eddie Murphy act like he wasn't rich. And that's why he said to the girl, just tell me you didn't love me when you thought I was a goat herder. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the moral of the story. Okay. Cause I know I know you were thinking because I was thinking on the flip end. One time I I drove by in what a Hummer. Uh huh. The next time I might drive by in a Cadillac Escalade, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I came over with the Mercedes or not. But either way, I said I know she's gonna get really peaked by this and it really actually it was coincidental that's just what i happened to be driving all the time so okay I this is what our dog does it. when we don't give her enough attention mm -hmm. hi yeah. honey but that's how we met okay, yeah, uh, obviously there's some some other stories there's, there's a lot pretty, of stuff that pretty, we are gonna get into and i can't pretty, wait pretty interesting things so welcome to our channel i hope you enjoyed and uh welcome thank you for to our channel. Spending time with uh, Lonnie and Duke and Harley, too, I guess. Yeah.